So now we know a little bit about what we're looking at within the machine software interface and how to navigate our way around it using the machine hardware, let's start from scratch. So when you open machine, it always um, selects or loads up the last project that you were working on. You can alter that in the preferences if you want. I'm just going to go file new just to start something completely new. So the first thing we're going to load up is a drum kit. Now the great thing about machine is it comes with a huge library full of really great sounds. So although you can use your own audio samples in there if you want from external sample packs, a great starting point is the actual machine library itself. So we would go into on the online course how to load in your own samples, how to import them first of all into machine's library and then how to load them. But during this short tutorial, we're just going to use resources that come with the machine library. So we're going to load a drum kit first of all. Now to do this, I want you to select a group to load the drums onto. It doesn't matter which one, any of those eight groups for argument's sake, I'm just going to select A. Make sure that the browse button up here is activated. And finally, because we are loading a whole group of sounds rather than just an individual sound, we need to press button number two to select group. Then use these four rotary controls to select the type of drum kit that you might like to load. So using rotary control number one, scroll all the way around to the left to select group. From the bank, select kits, as in drum kits. From the type, you can select the type of kit. So we've got acoustic kits, analog kits, artist kits, etc. etc. I'm going to go for analog. And like I say, sometimes there's subtypes. In this case, there are no subtypes. But if you look over to the right hand LCD display, you can use rotary control number five to scroll through all the different drum kits that fall under that analog type tag. So you can pick any, but for argument's sake, I'm just going to go for a st uh, standard 808, Roland 808 kit. Put number eight loads it. And watch what happens to the sound slots. You see they all become illuminated. There's been a different drum sound loaded onto each one. And we can trigger those just by pressing the pads. So that's loading a, a group of sounds, an entire drum kit. Notice that if we go over to one of the different uh, unused groups, you can see that A has now got that dull blue colour to indicate that we've got something going on on group A. So let's write a pattern for the drums. We're going to write a really simple sort of 4-4 kick drum house pattern. So for group A, make sure you've got group A selected. Hold down the pattern button and press one of the uh, pads. It doesn't matter which one, but again, for argument's sake, I'm just going to go for number one. Once you've selected pattern number one, you can hit play. And if you noticed on the software interface, on group A up at the top here, we've got the 808 kit loaded. Down here, you can see all the different sounds within that group, the 808 kit. And here, this indicates that pattern number one's been selected. You can see, you see the first 16 pattern slots there. Pattern number one's been selected. And the playhead is just cycling around one bar. So by default, when you select a pattern, you get one bar onto which you can program some uh, note events. So what might be quite useful uh, for, for programming a drum beat would be some sort of click or metronome. Now to get that, you can hold down shift and press the play button a second time. And you get to hear the metronome. Next up, let's choose how fast we want our drums to play back. At the moment, you can see it's set to 120 beats per minute. We can change that using this middle rotary control. So let me set that about 125. Finally, we just need to hit the record button once we're ready to record some note events, but you might want to have a bit of a practice first. Now 
and so on and so forth. So you just need to work out which pad triggers which sound. Once you're happy with that, hit record. And you don't have to record everything at once, you can keep overdubbing sounds with each subsequent pass of the loop. So let's take the kick first of all. You see I put a kick drum in time with each of the clicks. So that's a kick drum on each beat of the bar. And I put a snare sound, we could use a clap sound, on the second and fourth beat of the bar. Next thing I'm going to do is put a hi-hat on what's called the offbeat, so the spaces in between the kick drums. And there's your basic house beat. So let me just uh, turn record off. Now any button that I press is not going to be recorded into the pattern. Let me turn the metronome off, so I'm going to hold shift and press play. In fact, for the time being, you can just press play just to stop that pattern playing back. So you can hear that there's differences in the timing. Uh, the timing's slightly out. I've not been absolutely spot on with the timing. We can tidy that up using something called quantization. And also uh, the velocity or the volume of the sound uh, that you can hear is uh, there's a bit of a discrepancy between the volumes of the different drums as well. So we can tidy both of these, both of these things up. Let's take the timing first of all. What I need to do I'm going to hold select. I'm going to press this button up here, events. And I'm going to tap the, uh, the sounds that I'd like to quantize. So there's the kick drum, the snare, and the hi-hat. So you can see if you look closely that some of those hits are late, some of them are early. What I'm going to do now is hold down shift and press quantize, which is pad number five. You see all those notes move, that means that fingers crossed now when I hit play. In fact, turn the metronome back on. They're all perfectly in time. Let me hold shift and press undo. That's before the quantization. That's shift and pad one for undo. Redo, shift and pad two. That's after the quantization. So now we've written a really simple drum beat there, let's add some instrumentation to that. 